What's going on guys, John Alder here from CodingMe.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how to remove the title bar for your apps with Kivi and Python. Alright guys, like I said in this video, I'm going to show you how to remove the title bar from your Kivi apps. And you can see up here, there is no title bar. So go ahead and close this. You'll notice like up here, this thing and sublime text right here, that is the title bar. That's what I'm talking about. We're going to look at how to remove that from Kivi. So let's head over to our code here. I'm using the sublime text editor in the Git Bash terminal as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code for this video in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other Kivi videos in this series. So check that out if you haven't so far. So I've got our basic Kivi starter code that we always have. I've named this file no underscore title dot pi. We've got a no underscore title dot kv Kivi file. And you can see right here, I've designated that. So very quickly, let's just head over here and build out a very basic setup here. So maybe we want a label and let's say, give it a text underscore size of like, I don't know, self dot size. And let's give it a H align of center. Let's give it a V align of middle. And let's say text, uh, you know, I don't know, click the button to close the app. So the only reason we're doing this is because there's no title bar. So we need a way to be able to close this app. So I'm going to create a little button that closes the app. So uh, let's also give this a font size of like 32, something like that. So, okay, now we want a button. It's just going to be a regular button and let's give it a size underscore hint of like one and 0.5, something like that. Let's give it a font underscore size of 32 and let's make the text say, you know, close app and then on press, I'm just going to make this real simple and go app.stop. And we don't even have to create a function for this. This will just work. So let's go ahead and save this, head back over here and run it just for fun. And this is Python no underscore title dot by. Uh oh, typo. Typo already. It's Monday. <laughs> That's what happens on a Monday. All right. So that looks better. So let's run this guy again. And when we do, we see this, we've got our nice title bar at the top. We're going to want to remove that in just a second. But when we close this, boom, it disappears. So, okay, so far, so good. That's the easy stuff. Now let's head back over here. Now, how do we actually remove the title bar? Now there's a bunch of different ways to do it. Probably the easiest way is just to import window into our app. So this will allow us to do window -y type things. So let's go from kivi.core.window. We want to import window. Okay, and then down here inside of our main app class in our build function, we just want to call window dot borderless and then set that equal to true. Just that easy. So let's go ahead and save this, head back over here and run this. But before we do that, if you like this video, and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm and check out codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 up memberships, all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee at just $49, which is insanely cheap. Whoa, weird commercial. So let's go ahead and run this again. And when we do, we get an error. Ah, this needs to be capitalized, capitalized. All right, so go ahead and save this. Head back over here, run the sky again, and boom, there we go. Our app now no longer has a title bar, and it's just that easy. So one thing about this, this will sort of pop up right in the middle of your screen. You'll notice it's not in the middle of my screen. It's in the middle of this sort of side screen here. So to actually move this thing around, you're going to have to sort of play around with some settings here. So we can do that. If you want to change where it starts, we can come up here at the top. And we can go from kivi.config. We just want to import config. And again, this is capital C and config. And then we could just go config.set. And we want to set the graphics and the position and make it custom. And then we could come down here and define, say, config.set the graphics of say the left position. And for my monitor, I have two monitors. So I want to push it way over to the left. So I would put negative 1700. That would bring it over quite a bit. And then we can also go config dot set and graphics and then top and then push it down 200. Or if we wanted to push it down even further, we could go 400. So if we save this, come back over here, run this guy again. I misspelled config, man, I am making all the errors today, all of them. All right, it's Monday. It's a rough weekend. What can I say? All right, so let's save this, run this guy again. Okay, see, now it's way down there, right? You know, we could get really crazy if you want and just, you know, 
push it all the way like almost off the screen. I don't know. See, that's way down there and we can't even hardly click the button. So I'm gonna come back to the terminal and hit control C to break out of there. But you get the idea. If we put it at 100, it's gonna be right at the top of the screen, just down a little bit. You see it's way up here. This is apparently 100 right, right there, see? And uh, just that easy. So that's how to remove the title bar from your Kivi app. It's also how to sort of position it around the screen programmatically and not much to it really. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to that channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codeb.com where you can use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. So you pay just $49 to access all my courses, over 47 courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 150,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codeb.com, and I'll see you in the next video.